tonight. The idea that pushing so hard to them to have special things happen to you, and they fulfilled their promise. They also have promise they don't realize, and I guess at 18, 19, I'm the guy who starts telling them about it. That's good, bro. Thank you. Coach, what does tonight mean to you? It's emotional. You know, anytime you're on it in a place that, as I said before, I saw my two friends, two nuns here tonight, but this is my chapel because it's where I operate. And, you know, I really, really enjoy being in a place that you love. St. Joe's been very good to me. And, you know, I'm doing the same thing I always did, which is kids and the game and hopefully teaching life lessons and win a few basketball games. You had lots of friends talk about your legacy. When you think about your legacy and hearing all these stories, what emotions are drawn up? You know, it's very emotional. I mean, it really is. I think any time people are saying things about you that without verbalizing it, but you're trying to make them to be full-grown men. And obviously, some of it worked pretty good. I'm very happy about that. And I love these guys. Your experience here at St. Joseph, what does that mean to you? Coming back and being able to be with the kids again, nothing greater. I, I mean, I just love it. I love the gym. You, know, you can get 500 in here or 20,000 in Madison Square Garden. Game is a game, the kids are the kids. When you reflect on all your years of coaching, what are the moments that are going to stand out to you? I don't have moments. I have a kind of a, life's not a snapshot. It's a uh, motion picture. I like to watch the motion picture. I, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of great people play for me, so on. And, you know, I'm just very fortunate to die. Thank you, Coach.